welcome officially to Vlogmas Finale Part 2. If you missed Part 1, it was an iconic vlog that I uploaded, well, probably yesterday or the day before that, whenever you guys are seeing this. Sorry for filming this in the car. We just went under a bridge. <laughs> but we have been busy, busy bees ever since yesterday at, what, like 5? We went to Jared's dad's, which I talked about in my last vlog, and then we came home for like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah, maybe. We packed a bag, and we went over to Jared's mom's house to sleep over, and that was really fun. I'm really glad that we did that. It was just really nice to wake up and be with everyone and open presents all over there. So I filmed just a couple of clips on my phone that I'll put in before this, but I didn't film too much. I didn't want to like put pressure on myself to like film around everyone and stuff like that. So that was really fun. We left her house at three o'clock and now it's about to be four and I have changed back into don't say it don't say penguin the flamingo Christmas sweater because truly today we just like didn't get ready we were wearing pajamas all day and we're just headed to like a really casual hangout at Jared's grandparents house right now so it's just been a lovely day we both been really tired though we kind of hit a wall um because I didn't sleep good last night or the night before. I think I was just like wound up from like doing so much stuff during the past couple days and being so busy that it was kind of hard for me to like settle down and sleep. So we both kind of slept bad last night, but we, you know, we rallied for Christmas, of course, and I really wasn't that tired. I was having coffees. I made everyone some espresso martinis that were a hit, and then I just about 30 minutes ago hit a wall. So I'm drinking a espresso with a little bit of oat milk right now and I'm having a little snack. We're just kind of wiped out today so I think tonight we're just gonna chill. Maybe we'll watch a movie and just kind of fall asleep early tonight and then tomorrow on the 26th we'll do our stockings to each other because I feel like I want to do them in the morning rather than do it like Christmas night. So we'll do our stockings and we'll open all the presents that are under our tree tomorrow morning. So I'll film that for you guys and then I'll do a little what I got for Christmas. So that is all to come in this vlog. I don't want to make this intro too long because we're in the car and it's going to be weird sound. So I will chat with you guys uh, probably when we get home tonight. But I feel like we're in the movie for Christmas. Have you seen that? I don't think so. Maybe we should watch that tonight. We might they're fall asleep. But... They're in the car far. Yeah, they're just like in the car the whole, and they go to like four people's, and we actually are headed to our third house. Yeah. We almost did four. You know what? Including our house, it's four Christmases. That's true. It actually is. That's kind of funny. We're having our four Christmases moment. I'm loving it. I'm all about it. I'm making up for last year when I failed and couldn't go out for Christmas. So, it's... and this is the state of outside. It is truly kind of hideous but we do have snow it didn't snow today but it has been snowing this week so guys check it out i was just staring at how nicely this tree was lit up and it has a sign that says the tree of life right there look how beautiful that is that is so so gorgeous wow we're home and we're gonna give squirtle his christmas stocking and presents Jared just filled up his stocking and it's exploding off the wall. Oh my god. I like how he's in head first. Let's show them your new bed. Yeah. Look at your new bed. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait. Jared's mom got this amazing. It's from Costco, right? Yeah. It is literally like a memory foam bed for Squirtle. And it is amazing. I love it. It's so cozy, but he knows something's happening. Are you ready to get your stocking? Okay. Okay. Merry Christmas, Squirtle. Merry Christmas. Oh my what is that? Squirtle, who's that? You thought that was it? That's not even it, Squirtle. toy that received. I already has his toys exploded. Hey, Squirtle, Squirtle what's, what's that? Squirtle, what's this? Oh, God. Hold on. Hey, hey, oh, Squirtle. <laughs> Come on, Mom, can you give you a Christmas ball? Look at these mini Kong balls, they're amazing. Okay, ready? Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. And he got him. Slash her. Slash them. Oh, 
Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, he likes that one. Squirtle? Who's that? Wait, Squirtle, who's that? Who's this, Squirtle? How cute is this? Avocado with a Santa hat. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'll cut your tags off, Squirtle. How much more do we got? Two things. Two more things? Yeah. Forgot about this. Oh, it's that Squirtle. Jared got Squirtle some Christmas biscuits. Okay, let's try it because you were such a good boy this year. You know, Squirtle, people are loving seeing you on Vlogmas. You might have to take it over to the cutting board like we did for his birthday. He prefers very small. Oh my god, I made a mess. Dang, Dang it, bro. This is so this fucking girl. funny to me. Like with this avocado wearing a damn Santa hat. Look at his big belly. You got a big belly like you, Squirtle. Yeah, You're another toy. Treat. Just some more treats. He's freaking out. Look at this. Squirtle, can you try this? Maybe he'll eat it in his, he'll eat it later. How about these? Look at over how cute these are. Oh, daddy has another too. treat for you. Oh. He's gone. I think the avocado might be his favorite. You know, these old toys are so over. These are so last year. He doesn't even want these anymore. Like this? Ooh. That looks like a good one. Maybe you get sick. <laughs> a Christmas shake. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Check it out. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He likes it. Yeah. Yay, Squirtle. That was a great stocking. Good morning, you guys. It's Boxing Day. It's our Christmas morning, afternoon. We slept until 12.30 because we were both, sorry, my nose is just about to sneeze. We were both so, so, so exhausted from the last couple nights of just not sleeping well. So we just said, we're gonna sleep as late as we possibly do and want to. And then we will wake up and just have the most relaxing, no pressure, chill day, opening gifts with ourselves and hanging out here, not leaving the house and just relaxing today. So I am about to fill Jared's stocking. He's upstairs doing mine. He's supposed to alert me before he comes back downstairs. So. I was like, and I didn't even notice he told me yesterday. He was like, I got a part to know get card in my stocking. I was like, you did? But it's okay. You can just have two now. But I really thought I was doing so. Alright guys, it is 1.15 on post Christmas day. We have a little crackling fireplace and snow ambiance video going. Love a crackling fireplace. Jared's grandparents had the, the Yule log going on the TV when we when it came over last night and they were obsessed with it. Well, since it is Christmas, I'm having two snickerdoodles for breakfast and some of my, the, the last actually, of my Christmas punch and I put a fresh orange slice in in the snowman mug from 2012. My stocking has arrived. I see something that I like in there. Looks like rosé. <laughs> and we are going to open stockings and then get to under the tree. I wonder what this is. I know, I really wanna look at it, like open it up up close, I'm excited. Okay. I really stuffed yours. Oh, that looks like it looks packed to the balloon. 
Rose, she is a Palm Springs woman, mm -hmm. just like me in Squirtle. Yeah, full I'm bottle, not even a mini bottle. No. <gasps> close. Nice. Woo! And I got, you got your favorite candy. <laughs> Squirtle, who's even out there? I got my favorite candy. A bead wash. You like that? Yeah. You can use it in the shower. Thank you. And clean your beard out. First piece, ultra conditioning, always good for me, people. My brother turned me on to this, and they slap. Barnes and Noble, a book is in my future. I thought that I was doing something with putting Barnes and Noble gift card in your stocking, and then you got one, and I was like, what the fuck? You know that the funny thing about that is the only person I asked for a Barnes and Noble gift card was from Amy. Oh. And I didn't get one for me. Oh. And then everyone else did. <laughs> the ones I didn't know. Well, it's ah. good. You can borrow the books. Liquid death. Yeah, look. It's your Cody call moment. You never had one, right? I don't think so. I really Look wanted you to have one. your moment. Oh, shit. She's doubling up. I did. Ooh! A scented soy candle. Nip it. Pretty good. Yeah. We don't even have a candle going. Birds bees. Where'd you get the sticker? Uh, I got that the first time I went to the um, fishing store in Park City. Oh, I was like, where did you sneak this thing? There's still more in there. I know. Did you get so much? You want to stock? Yeah, how did I fit it all in there? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, that was so cute. And remember your uncle was talking about them last night? Yeah, I that was. <laughs> the little <laughs> tiny dress. I showed them in my last vlog. Oh, you did? Hey, what I got. Jared in his stocking. <laughs> Whoa! I hit the good shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did. I got a the botanist mini gin Casamigos tequila. Oh hell yeah, boy! I got the loud pack. Oh, wow. Bel Belvedere vodka. I think this is what Chris Jenner uses. Oh shit! This is like I'm almost positive this is like the fancier than Grey Goose vodka. Belvedere. I'm about to make a Kris Jenner martini, literally, today <laughs> with that. Yay! Oh my god, and I got a Hendrix gin. Oh, yeah. you did good for me, babe. Oh yeah! Thank Cheek god, jam. haven't had one of these in a while. Take care. Sorry, squared I'll take this off you, Sebastian. Is that everything in yours? Yeah. yeah. Finished up. How'd you fit it all in there? I know! Like I actually it. don't know. I thought it was going to explode, but everything literally fit. I just shoved. A Chris Jenner martini never has removed. Oh. But did you know that if you do this... <laughs> Guys, look how cute. I think it's Olaf. Is it? Well, it's a snowman. I think it's a snowman. But but it's, it could be Olaf. Look how cute it's packaged. To Lindsay from Jared and Olaf. back and get it? Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> I've been wanting a miniature whisk and we, we went to mix greens and I, I went up to the front and I was like how much is this whisk because it didn't have a price tag and they were like that comes with a set and it comes with this bowl which I guess like you could put anything in here it's really yeah. cute your eggs whatever you're whisking but I was like I don't want to get the bowl I just wanted the whisk but Jared went back and got it for me I checked a bunch of other stores for mini whisk and no one had them. So I was like, well, I guess I'm getting the bowl too. Something about a mini whisk, like I just need it. Thank you, babe. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Squirtle's enjoying his new toys from Santa and oh, his new take bed. Off his leg. Look at all his fluff. Who's this one from? From Maurice. To me. <laughs> Julian. We'll put that in the reuse bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always keep cute packaging, guys. You'll regret it if you don't. We have a recycling trash and a reuse bag. Ooh! His darkness materials. 
the golden compass, subtle knife, and anti I think it's multiple books in one. Mm -hmm. And it's Megan and Finley's favorite series called His Dark Materials. Oh, nice. I like the art on it a lot. They both really liked it and thought that you would like it. Nice. Well, thank you. Yeah. Maurice. Okay, this is my, I think this is my first present from Santa. Is it? I think so. This is my first gift from Santa of the year. Can you believe he still comes for me at age 28? Yay! Woohoo! What is it? What is it? Okay, it is the Shark Hyper Air Blow Dryer. It's supposed to be a dupe of the Dyson one, and I just can not justify buying or asking for a $400 plus dollar blow dryer. So this one's like $200, and it's supposed to be really good. Plus, I don't even like dry my hair like that. What's the word? Like, I just dry it like really quick to dry it. Like, I don't go crazy with it styling at all, especially especially now that my hair is short. So I just wanted to have a good, high quality blow dryer that won't like fuck up my hair more. Cause right now I have a really cheap one and it's a little, it makes me a little frizzy. So thank you, Santa. This was actually on my Christmas list this year. I had a few things that I asked for from Santa and this was one. So he nice. listens so well. No heat damage. Oh, nice. that's what I'm looking for. 2J from L. That's, that's to you. you from me. That's to you from me. I really shoved that one into the box. It's like completely popping out. Exploding out already. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Some Carhartt gloves. You needed those. And a Carhartt beanie. Yay! Yeah. Try them on. I did them. Try it on. I hope the gloves fit you. They have multiple different sizes. I think I got a large or maybe an extra large. An extra large. I got an extra large? Mm -hmm. Jerry doesn't have any gloves, and we've it's been freezing, and I feel like you've been needing some gloves. I have like work gloves for like work, but they're like really, really big. Mm, yeah, I've seen those, but you never, yeah. I wouldn't wear them. Like the car ones were all kind of big too, but. Oh yeah. Are those a good fit? These are great. Wow! We're gonna go for a walk. They match your Carhartt jacket and your black jacket. Mm -hmm. Wow! Look at those. Okay, try your beanie on. I think it's like a one size fits all beanie. That looks cute. You like it? Yeah. I like the color of it. I like it more than this one. Yeah. Yay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me take a peek at myself. I'll take a little peek of me. A little peek of me Woo. right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Trying to get some different angles for you, so I keep moving the camera. But um, this one was addressed to, was it Lindsay Dash Jared? Lindsay Dash. Lindsay Jared. Jared. So, and it's from Finley. I'm almost positive. Nice. Sweetwater leathers. It's a mystery gift. You won't know until you open it what it is or who it's for. A holster. Ooh, I feel like it's a man gift. Is it for your fishing pole? Oh, it's no. for a knife? Yeah. Or something? I think that means I'm getting a knife somewhere Yeah, something. We'll have to put the, whole, the knife in We'll figure it out. <laughs> Wait, let's show it though, it's cute. It's really it's nice. Cute. Yeah, I think it's for like holding a knife or mm -hmm. something for fishing maybe. Yeah. I'm not exactly positive yet. We'll ask Megan and Finley about it, but it is really nice. So I would wear it, boys, with my buckle right here. This is your belt. Okay. It does definitely look like it's for a knife. Yes. I think. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. This is from Layla. Jared wrapped it for me. And she opened my present with a Squishmallow and a few other things. And she really liked it. She opened mine a few days ago. So, Layla, I hope you're watching. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. The whole thing? Oh my god, stop. It's corn. It's yeah. a fucking corn. <laughs> I didn't realize. Cornelius, stop. Squirtle that ain't for you. 
That is so fucking cute. I didn't even know they had a corn one. I didn't either. She's adorable. She has her little corn and then her little husk. That is so freaking cute. I feel like I need something to like display my squishmallows. Like a little shelf for them or something. No, because it's, maybe. yeah, maybe like on that wall in the office above the little couch. We could do mm -hmm. like a shelf because I seriously want to like put more of mine on display. They're okay, and I got an Orange Theory beanie, of course. <laughs> There's a little Orange Theory part to my gift. I can wear this to work out and they'll be like, wow, she's really, you know, like when I first walk in, not, hey, does that smell like Layla? <laughs> you know, he remembers from when you visited Layla. I can wear this into the studio. They'll be like, oh, she's serious. She's got the merch on. I got a giant Virgo mug. That is so cute. It says August 23rd through September 22nd. Wise, witty, and charming. I agree with three out of three. I love how it's big because I can fit a lot of liquids in there. Yeah. A guide to living an all out life. The story of Orange Theory Fitness by the founder of Orange Theory. I didn't even know this is what she looked like. Ellen Latham, I think is her name. Okay, go off. Off, Layla, Ellen. have you read this? Thank you, Layla. So cute. This might be my favorite part. But I, wait, look at this little. Yeah, little tough This is so funny. Yeah. This was a custom little thing. Okay, we figured it out. Look, these are special fishing pliers. And they fit in the little holster. Yeah, they can cut line right there. That's yeah. Sweet. They fit perfectly. So then you put this on belt. Your belt. And then you're ready to go. I love that. Those are cool. Yeah. Look at that. It literally Thanks, is man. perfect. I like that leather for my manly, my manly man. It smells so good. It does. New leather. This one's too Lindsay from Santa. Santa. Once again, excellent wrapping from Santa Claus. How is there a Jared hair in there? Oh, man. It's not mine. Sorry. Oh! I think I know what this is. I needed one. It's a little dessert stand topper. Oh, yeah. That's cute. I, and you can use this for so much. You can just put it on like a cutting board to mm -hmm. cover up baked goods or whatever it is. That is so cute. Keep them fresh. My mom just like got one of these and was obsessed with it. So I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's the same one that she has. That is nice. That is. We will definitely use. We always have baked goods or bread or something. I'm gonna put my baguette under there. It's time for Squirtle's Christmas present. Come here. Oh, yeah. That's Squirtle, great. what's that? Come here. What's that? Don't come over He's like, is this another toy? Is that Squirtle's Christmas present? Let's see it, Who's Squirtle love mom and dad? Wow. Let's let him see. Squirtle, look at that. It's <laughs> pretending not to see it because it's an outfit. Don't worry about it. Because it's clothing. Squirtle, did we get you a fancy Carhartt jacket? Ignores. <laughs> we have to see if this fits because if you guys remember, I ordered him the medium and it was a bit large. So I exchanged for the small. Oh, yeah. Will this fit you? Ooh, so far so good. Wow, that nice. looks awesome, yeah. I think this will be good for walks to the park when it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, you think so? He's like, okay, maybe just for walks. Wow, that's handsome, that's handsome. Can you show the vlog? Oh, look at that, that fits perfect. The small fits, yay. I think he likes it because it doesn't cover his tummy. Yeah. He can like breathe in it, you know? It's more like a normal dog coat than like, he doesn't like to his belly to be all covered. 
It looks awesome! Yay! Merry Christmas! We are having a bagel sandwich break. She is thick, luscious, stacked. I got a Theragun from Jared for my for my sore neck. I can't wait. I've never. I think they, she might use this on me at the chiropractor. Oh, she yeah. uses some gun on mm -hmm. me for sure. But I'm excited. Layla was telling me about these. They are fancy Bluetooth. <laughs> Why does it have Bluetooth? I don't know. <laughs> I've never tried one, so I can't wait. Just made another. Homemade candy cane latte and my giant Starbucks holiday mug that I've had for like 10 years. I don't use this thing nearly enough. It's so cute. We're still going over here, guys. We're still going. 3.30. 3.30 on the 26th. We're still having Christmas. New Nike joggers from my mom. Those are so nice. Well, I feel like those will match with like everything you wear. They're yeah. so cute. Love the color, baby. Woo! Cute! Wow. Oh, I love it! I did kind of know I was getting this because no. Jared and I were at um, Marshall's and he was like, oh, that looks like something you would like. Do you want it? And I was like, for Christmas? And he was like, I'll wrap it for you. It's so cute though. I love it. I love these colors. They look great. I might wear it like tomorrow or the next time I get dressed. It I keep getting a leaf in my hair. It might not be for a week the next time I get dressed, but I'm wearing it soon. <laughs> We're on to our last few gifts of Christmas. We have like five left-ish, maybe six total. Jared is opening his third to last present for me. There's still three. Oh, you open it upside down, boy. Oh! <laughs> oh, hell yeah, babe. Seattle Sounders sweatshirt. In a big size. Oh, big extra large size. You don't really have one, right? No. Try it on. Try it on. Look at his new outfit. Slay King. Fit, baby. Yeah, it's literally perfect. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah. This is Jared's last present from me. What's your detail? What is oh. it? It is. is. It a car detail? Yeah. Nice. It's a whole interior detailing mm. on me. I need that. I was thinking it would just be nice yeah. for you to go and get it done. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Stanley's going to be shining. He's going to look so Lovely. good. Cordle's a little, little tuckered out from the past few days. He's just completely taking a nap and getting lost in Jared's sweatpants. <laughs> Pretty cozy. Well, I think it's the last gift of Christmas. Unless yeah. something's hiding over there. The last gift from Jared. Actually, he wrote J-Rod. I never call you that. I'm Jay <laughs> you just It's just such a small <laughs> You didn't have enough room to write the one extra letter. No. And as a bell. Which we've been keeping our reusables. We have a lot. It's a whole bag. We have a whole bag of things that we've been keeping to reuse. Why not keep a bell? This will last years if a dog doesn't get to it. <laughs> or a baby. <laughs> Oh, and the rug is still over there, actually. Mm -hmm. But that, I, I don't know. We'll probably have to clean up before we kind of... I'll open it up and I'll look at it with you guys, but I don't think we'll put it out maybe until tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, we're going to have to do some cleaning. But I know what it is. I picked it out. That was actually on my Christmas list that I had sent to my mom, too. And so, um, it's really pretty. I think it'll look really good when it's all... It's a little bigger than the rug we have now, and it is for the living room because the one we have is very hard to keep clean and it's stark white. Last gift of Christmas at 4 11 p.m. on December 25th. <laughs> <laughs> really stretched it out this year. Someone already broke in. Was it you? I don't make sure. <laughs> All right. She's a cute little squirrel's watching. <laughs> what is it? Look at it! 
It's a little gold with little diamonds. I wanted something like this that I could wear like every day and it'll just match with everything. And it was from Jared. So, thank you. I'm putting it on right now. <laughs> Damn, Santa did good this year, y'all. I love it. I just looked at it in the mirror and was like, it's seriously so cute. It's exactly what I wanted. It's super tiny and minimal, but I can wear it like every single day and it'll match with everything I wear, whether it's silver or gold, which is kind of rare for jewelry, right? To like match with silver or gold. So cute. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We kind of filmed like a lot of presents this year that we opened. So I am still going to do my little what I got for Christmas. I'll probably film it in a few hours. I don't know. Sometime tonight and I'll have that up for you guys probably tomorrow. But I think we're just going to relax, hang out with Squirtle, maybe watch something. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our gift opening. Still going. This thing's been on for hours. dark outside now almost if you've watched this far into vlogmas i just feel like there's something you deserve in the finale one more time because it wasn't done enough this year i will admit that but you know what if you've watched this far you're getting a little treat in this last vlogmas video i already did the pouring up but alexa please play pour it up by rihanna <laughs> Thank you for everyone, by the way, that loves the pour it up. I do wish I did it more this year. I wasn't having that much wine and I just kind of forgot about it a lot until I was like editing and I'd be like, oh, I should have done the pour it up. But if you watch this far and walk miss, you got a little finale. It's about eight o'clock. I've edited my vlog up to the dance, well, before the dance, but um, I'm going to have some food with Jared. We're gonna have some we still have gigantic twice baked potatoes from the other night. And Rob dropped us off some soup the other night that he made at work and I'm really excited to try this. So I'm gonna heat that up on the stove and put these in the air fryer. And we're gonna have a little leftover delicious meal. And then I'm gonna sit in front of the tree and do a little what I got for a Christmas video. Beautiful leftover meal with also the addition of some soup that Rob made us at work. And gigantic twice baked potatoes and a little simpler version of the salad we had the other night. I'm sitting down in front of the tree, the empty tree, to show you guys a little what I got for Christmas. I wanted to add this into this last vlog, the Vlogmas finale, just because people always ask to see this and it has been a tradition for many years on my channel. I was unable to do it last year because I was down and out with the COVID and ended Vlogmas early, but 
I want to make a return to at least putting these in the vlog, you know, not making it its whole video, but what I got for Christmas. So I am so lucky to have had literally like three different Christmases this year um, with going to Jared's dad's side of the family and his mom's side of the family and then what Jared and I did. And I'm honestly sitting on Squirtle's dog bed right now as a little cushion. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that I am feeling incredibly grateful for anybody that gifted me something this year and this Christmas. And it's always fun to show you guys and share people's amazing gift ideas. So with that being said, let's get into it. I'm going to try not to talk about my gifts for too long because there is a lot of things, which is amazing. I've literally, I don't think I've ever received this many gifts for Christmas. So I'm going to try not to talk through everything too much, but you guys know I am a little chatty, but I'm going to try to keep it a little bit brief because this vlog has already been like 30 minutes. So we'll see how I do, but let's do it. Starting off strong with this little funny gift from my sister. This is me obviously this is megan <laughs> and she gifted me they're called like oh, i can't remember what they're called now they're called cute something i don't know i opened these in vlogmas day my last vlog they are everything to me i haven't decided where i'm gonna put them yet but they're so funny i'll probably put them like somewhere in my office this is a beautiful cake stand slash just like pastry stand you can put cookies on it whatever from my mom it's marble and it has a beautiful gold um base it's from west elm and it is so freaking beautiful and sturdy and there is something else that goes with that that i will show you guys that my mom also gifted me a little later in this haul this is part of my gift as well from megan and it is some really special photos of us from her wedding day this one's after i made my speech <laughs> this one is just us before the ceremony all dressed up and then this one was getting ready when she was about to put on her dress. It's such a sentimental gift and I love having framed photos, but I never like really do it for myself. I feel like getting them as a gift is really special because you can hold on to it forever and it's sentimental. This was another part of my gift from my sister and it is this incredible magnum signs which is basically the largest size of this candle called slow burn it is a casey musgraves and boy smells um collaboration a little spicy it's a little bit florally but it is like i don't know it's a little bit masculine it's just the perfect <laughs> i can't really explain it through the camera but i have actually been wanting this to purchase this for myself for like two years now and i just haven't because i think it's like 80 dollars so it is literally so nice that megan didn't even know that and she purchased it for me as one of my christmas gifts i opened this earlier today in vlogmas but it is my mini whisk and little cute ceramic mixing bowl set that Jared got me as one of my gifts and it's the cutest thing in the whole world and I'm about to be miniature whisking eggs, dressings, um, my coffee drinks in the morning. I will not be stopping with the miniature whisk. <laughs> I don't know if this whole thing is going to fit on frame. There we go. I got a giant wood charcuterie board or just cutting board, whatever. I think I'm going to use it for entertaining and also as decor um in my kitchen or pantry i'm gonna get this set up this week and figure out where i want to store it and this is from jared's mom and stepdad and it is completely incredible and so large and in charge like this is compared to my face another little decorative tray but this one is actually it just stands up like this and it's kind of like a rainbow and it's a ceramic tray and this is from jared's stepmom and dad and it actually was one of the things that i like asked for for just i made a couple christmas lists because different people asked and it's just so sweet that they got it for me and i think i'm gonna put this I, my plan is to put it on my kitchen counter in the back and just use it as like beautiful decor so i think it's really nice i wore these all day today as well as the past couple days but these are my taylor swift silky pajamas from my sister i will say i got a little stain on them tonight at dinner so that's why i took them off and changed because i need to throw them in the washer but they are fearless pajamas 
from Taylor Swift. They're everything to me and I feel like it's something I wouldn't have like thought to buy for myself and they're so luxurious and gorgeous and they, I've already worn them like nonstop since I got them as you guys have kind of seen in the end of Vlogmas. You guys are gonna die for these but you also already saw them if you're caught up on Vlogmas. These are my little cow planters from Jared. There's a little one that's a little bit more tan and then the bigger one that has the black spots and the freaking bottoms of them, like the stands, are udders. Like, and they have drainage holes. I can't even speak on how perfect these are for me. This is legitimately like the perfect gift for me and he just knows me so well. And that was the first thing I opened from him and it was such a great gift and I'm so excited to use them. This is from Jared's mom and she got me a bagel slicer, which will actually be so helpful for my life because I eat a bagel pretty much every day and I don't have a bagel slicer. And it can be actually hard to slice a bagel in half well, so I think it will definitely come in handy. Um, Jared's mom got us all a vintage puzzle. Sorry, I'm like sitting like this. My back sore <laughs> and I'm sitting in a dog bed and sitting up straight with posture is not gonna work for me right now. She got us all, anyway, back to the present. She got us all these vintage puzzles. This is a Santa Claus one. It looks like that. And I think Jared and I might start this because I feel like I have to do it this year. So Jared and I might start this tonight. So sweet, she got everyone like a different one. There was like four or five different kinds and she got like all the kids or couples a different one. And it's just really cute because we'll have it forever and I'll always remember like, it's kind of like a symbol of my first Christmas over there. I don't know. This is a little like not decor. I think it's so pretty. It's from World Market. This was one of the things I had on my Secret Santa list. We all did a Secret Santa and Jared's side of the family. What is this stabbing me? And, um, and we all put a list of like five things in the group chat just to give our Secret Santa some ideas. And I had this on my list and my Secret Santa was Grace, his sister, and it is so cute and so perfect. And I can't wait to <laughs> display it in my home. She also got me this sweater, which is very cute, chunky, cozy, neutral. I will be absolutely wearing this all the time. I think it's from... It is from H&M, but it looks like it's from their recycled, their conscious line, which is great. I feel like she knows me so well. Also from Grace, she got me a $50 Target gift card, which is extremely exciting. And y'all know I go all the time. And then these, which are kind of funny because they did turn out to be smaller than I thought in real life, but I wanted these little mini bags. It's a set of five and I wanted these for getting bulk spices at winco because i always have to get the little bags the little plastic bags because i don't have any tiny enough reusable bags that zip so that's why i found these and i think they're really cute and i think they'll be perfect for what i need them for i just don't want the spices to spill and they zip and you can see through them so i feel like they're completely perfect and i'll be able to wash them out and reuse them for whenever i get my spices wait i'm crazy i thought there was five but there's seven that's even better it was a set of seven. Um, these are a few of my stocking stuffers. I have some more, but these are a few of my stocking stuffers from Jared's mom. A charcuterie boards and spreads magazine. And these I thought were so cool. They're called Tea Spressa um, Instant Mimosa Cocktail Kit. So they have these little sugar, sparkly sugar cubes that you can put in sparkling wine. And I think it flavors it into a mimosa, I'm pretty sure. So I need to get some Prosecco or something. Maybe for New Year's, these would be really fun to do for New Year's or for like brunch the day after. So I'm gonna be bringing these on my little New Year's excur excursion this year. This is one of my favorite things I got this year. It is just so me and so pretty. The three-tiered gold plant stand with mirrored bottoms and it has three levels. I think you guys can see all of that on camera. It's from World Market. I did ask for this. It was one of the things on my list and I kind of forgot because I asked for it so long ago, but it is one of my absolute favorite things I got. It's from Jared's stepdad and mom and it is so freaking beautiful. And when I show you something else that I got that is about to fit perfectly on here, I am so excited. It couldn't be more perfect. I'll show you that. You know what, right now. <laughs> From Finley, I got three different sizes of freaking disco ball planters. I know, I know. Let me show you them all. It couldn't be more 
perfect or more me. They do come with these macrame um, little hangers, but I think what I want to do since I have this is get a little stand that will help help this sit up straight. And then I literally just want to put them all on here since there's three different ones i feel like it would be the perfect thing there's a gigantic one and then there's this medium one these are everything to me you guys know my love for disco balls and of course plants and planter pots and they are so freaking perfect so i'm thinking it should work out maybe i'll i feel like i could do the big one here or maybe i'll i don't know i don't know exactly how i'm gonna like arrange them all but i do want to get some little plant stands for them and then i feel like with the plants it is going to be so freaking cool and gorgeous looking. I can't believe Finley got me three of them. Like these are kind of expensive a little bit and they're so beautiful and it's a whole cute little set. So I think I'm gonna get some new plants and treat myself because I got all these new planter pots I gotta fill. So this is the note he attached to that Z. Hello Lucinda, disco cowgirl era forever from Tornacious Lancaster Naughton. It is the longest last name I've ever seen in my entire life and it meant everything to me. I'm here for a deranged note. Y'all know I am. I'm here for the signing of a present as someone that did not give a present. You guys saw me open this earlier, but my Shark Hyper Air blow dryer. This is from my mom and I'm so excited to use it and break it in. This was the packaging of my necklace from Jared, which now that we have some light going in here, I can show you guys an up close and show you how pretty it is. It is the perfect size. It's a little tiny diamond cushion necklace on this small gold chain and it can be a little longer if you want it, a little longer than this even, but I just have it right now here but i don't really have any like expensive more expensive nicer jewelry but i did want to have an everyday piece that was like dainty that matched with everything and that like honestly something that like reminded me of jared when i wore it by the way this is from Majuri, and i don't know if i have any jewelry from them i can't remember but I absolutely am so in love with this. I'm going to wear it every day and it really does mean a lot to me that he got it for me and I can just have it hopefully forever. You guys saw from Layla, I opened Cornelius, the beautiful, amazing corn squishmallow. This is from my mom. It's a little like, I can't decide if it's like a bralette or a tank, but it's super cute and it'll be like a spiritual yoga cute moment. Also from my mom, I got these really warm ivory mittens i just have fingerless gloves and it's really nice to have a super warm pair of mittens so these are incredibly soft and cozy and they will be great for walks at the park with squirtle here's my stocking but you guys saw pretty much everything i got in my stocking i think i showed everything in the vlog earlier today. She was a good stocking this year. Jared did good. Also from Layla and you guys saw me open. I got my Virgo mug and my little Orange Theory gifts. Layla works for Orange Theory um, in Atlanta. She's the one that got me into Orange Theory. So that's why she kind of has like Orange Theory themed stuff sometimes. And then my sweater from Jared. This is from the brand Moon and Madison, by the way. And I I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow, it's very cute. Jared got me a Theragun Prime, which is like definitely an unexpected gift, but so nice. These are supposed to be so helpful and they're really popular. And it's basically a like massage gun thing that you can use on your sore muscles. And you guys know I'm sore all the time, but I guess I, <laughs> I definitely do tell him all the time so he knows. So he got me this to just kind of help me with my soreness and i have to figure out how like exactly to use it and set it up and all that stuff so i'm excited to do that in the next couple of days and we do have it charging over there and we tried it out earlier and i swear i used it for like 30 seconds and my neck already felt better and i've heard super good things about the theraguns i don't know that much about it but i know that it's gonna hello i know that it's gonna help me with when i'm sore and it'll be a great thing to have so that was a really nice surprise gift from him this one is going to be very hard to show you guys because it's extremely heavy it is a set of 36 a 36 count spice jars with labels i know i can't believe i haven't already done this considering the 
job that I took <laughs> a few months ago that I haven't already done this because we do this for people's kitchens at work. And Jared knew that I've been wanting to do this, but I've just kind of been, I don't know, I just like, I don't know why I haven't done it for myself yet, but it comes with so many labels. My favorite ones that I'm going to probably use are the white label with the name of it on there. It's so great that it already has the names of like all the common spices because it wouldn't be as cute if I hand wrote it on there, you know, so I am probably going to get into this tomorrow or the next day and show you guys uh, on Instagram when I'm done because I'm so excited. That was also one of my favorite gifts because I'm just so excited to do it and it's one of those things that's just, it's completely perfect for me. This is the top of the cake stand from my mom. I have to be really careful with this because it's glass and it's super beautiful, but this is gonna go on top of my marble cake stand for pastries, cookies, just whatever, and it's so perfect because I never have anything to display my baked goods, and they always just kind of go in Tupperware or like a cookie jar or something, and I think it is just gonna be so like elegant. It's such a pretty way to show them off in my kitchen. I do have just a few more things. It's mostly, I think, smaller things and stocking stuffers from what I can see, so I'll try to make it a little quick. I got Jiffy Pop because we went camping and we with Jared's mom and we couldn't find this. And so she gave me two Jiffy Pops as one of my gifts, which I'm so excited about it. I just think it's so funny. And I can't wait to use this. And it's just like a funny little cute gift that she got those and thought of me. She also got me a Williams Sonoma bread hook, which is so exciting. I think it just helps to knead your dough and like you don't have to touch your dough as much olive wood dough whisk ideal for bread or thick dough so i've never had one before and y'all know i like to make a good loaf or just pastry or something sometimes so that was perfect we have some little stocking stuffers this is a cute glasses case that gets bigger it goes into like a um a triangle shape i got a hot chocolate bomb some mini dry shampoo. I got this, which I guess you could kind of store anything in. It's just a brass box. I, oh, oh my God, stop, I forgot about this. I forgot I put this in here. I thought this was like a bell, like in the Polar Express. I was like, I got a bell. And it's literally, sorry, it's probably annoying to hear that. It's a bear whistle, which is also kind of like, like obviously it's a real gift, but it's kind of also like a joke gift because a bear came to visit our campsite when we were all camping together and I was asleep in the tent and there was a, I was closest to the bear and thank God they were all awake to see the bear because it could have ended differently. Maybe not, but I'm just saying it could have ended differently. So she got me a bear whistle. I got a little decorative vase. This was also in my stocking. She's just so cute. She knows I love a little decorative, a decorative item. I got some other stocking stuffers in here from Jared's stepmom. She got me a lot of fun stuff like candy, bath salts. She got me like make your own little bracelets, like little candy which is really freaking cute. Um, some micro LED lights, nail art, a bunch of chocolates. I also got a freaking yo-yo. We all got a yo-yo, which was kind of, kind of iconic. Hand cream, um, a few other things in here. So I think that's it, you guys. I hope I didn't forget anything. Like, I feel like I might have like a gift floating around somewhere that like didn't make it to the pile. So if anyone's watching that gave me anything that did not make it, that was by complete error. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. I haven't done one of those in so long. So it was quite a fun one this year. I am so excited and just feeling very loved and grateful and it was a really, really nice year and holiday season and it's the end of vlogmas now i just want to have a quick little chat and say thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching vlogmas if it was just this one or every single one of them truly like you guys are the reason that i get excited about doing this every year this was my 10th year of <laughs> vlogmas and i know a lot of you guys have literally been watching for that long for 10 years or even longer and it is always so special to share every single day like i literally vlogged every single day since november 30th for you guys and it is so special to share those like intimate moments and just my days with you guys and it makes me feel so close to you guys get caught up on vlogmas if you missed any it would mean a lot to me um like this video if you appreciated it and you enjoyed it and give this video a thumbs up if you 
enjoyed vlogmas this year truly thank you guys so much and we will be back next year for more vlogmas i did want to say i am going to take off some time from youtube nothing crazy just the normal post vlogmas i'm going to give myself time off and time to not be filming my life for a couple weeks i plan to take about two weeks off i should be back definitely right around then i think i'll be back right around january 10th in between january 10th and 15th is when i plan to be back on youtube i know it's a little bit far away but i really need this time to just recenter myself and to just not be filming my life for a few weeks and just to relax and unwind and enjoy the end of the year after a vlogmas so i always usually take around two weeks off after vlogmas anyway so it's nothing crazy but i did just want to let you guys know that um, I will be posting on Instagram a bit over there and still continuing updates on my Instagram story and stuff. And I will hopefully have something posted um, if you're a patron in the next few weeks. Thank you guys so much for giving me that time and respecting um, that needed vacation time. I am so excited to literally just like chillax and do some things that I haven't had time for this month like organize my pantry and do my spice jars and I'll share photos and stuff with you guys so don't be like oh you're not gonna vlog it and I can't wait to see you guys in 2023 when I'm back filming and doing more vlogs and all that stuff so I will be back uh in January it was such a fun year of vlogmas truly you guys um, thank you from the bottom of my heart and I'm gonna go edit and get this video up for you guys so you can see it as soon as possible All right, I truly love you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart Feel free to leave me a comment down below With your favorite part of vlogmas this year just literally anything you want to say down below I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments as always and I will see you guys in 2023. I love you. Bye